Managing visibility underwent some pretty big changes after Creo Parametric 3.0, and I admit I'm still getting my head wrapped around it, but it should be easier for new users. Here I have a model open in Creo Parametric 3.0, and if I have some different datums on here, these all show up as being visible right now, but I don't see them on the computer screen. So I make sure, yep, my datum plane visibility is on. Why don't I see them? Well, they're probably hidden on a layer. So I can go to different layers over here, and let's say that I choose this layer and want to unhide it. Hey, they're still not visible because if an object is on multiple layers, then they will be hidden if any one of those layers are hidden. So there used to be a bit of hunting that you would have to do to try to figure out, hey, what are these, what layers are these objects on? So for example, I can go to this datum plane and information, feature information, and scroll down in here and say, oh, okay, the problem is it's hidden on this other layer over here. If I want to see it, I have to make sure that I un unhide this other additional layer. And in addition to using layers for managing visibility, you do have the ability to hide items directly from the model tree. So for example, I can select these three objects, right click and then choose hide. And you'll notice that their icon shows as being hid, uh, grayed out on the computer screen. Now, if I go to my layers dialog box, you'll notice that they appear on the hidden items layer. So it can be kind of daunting for new users to figure out how to get stuff visible or not visible in Creo Parametric 3.0. Let's take a look at the differences in later versions of the software. And here I am in Creo Parametric 5.0. And so I'm going to go to my layers and I've got my layer for my default datum planes. When I hide this layer, you'll notice that the symbols in the model tree also show that they're hidden. So the model tree is the authority for whether something is visible or not. I'm gonna leave my layers dialog box open and let's select this datum plane called top. I'm going to show it. You'll notice now there is a shown items layer. So this is a nice little thing that I've been using a lot lately. So for example, I might have a layer that will have a hundred datum planes on it. And I wanna make one of those datum planes visible. In Creo Parametric 3.0, I would have to go to that layer and click on the layer properties and then select the one that I do want to be visible and say, hey, let's exclude this uh, from, oops, exclude and then click OK. And that way I could have the layer not be, or the item not be affected by the layer visibility setting. So it is kind of nice that you do have the ability to just use the model tree for controlling visibility of different items, not having to figure out which layers an object might be on if you actually want to see uh, that particular object. All right, so Next up thing that I want to mention is that Creo Parametric 4.0 and 5.0 have a big emphasis on model-based definition or MBD, and there is a config.pro option that you should be aware of. If I go to File, Options, Configuration Editor, I'm gonna find an option and I'm going to search on the keyword combined. And there is this new option here, combined state type. And it's got three different values. And this controls the display, uh, or what controls the display of annotations and supplemental geometry. And so the default value is semi-MBD. And what this means is that the visibility of annotations are controlled by the combination state you can use the show model annotations and add to state and remove from state to control whether those 3D annotations are visible or not. But any supplemental geometry like datum planes or axes or points for datum targets are going to be controlled by layers. With the MBD choice, that means both the annotations and the supplemental geometry are going to be controlled by the combination state. And if you choose non-MBD, that means layers will control the visibility of annotations and supplemental geometry. 
For now, I'm using semi MBD, and I'm not sure. You know, I'm going to evaluate that over time. I might end up changing my decision. But in addition to having that config dot pro option that controls the setting for new combination states, when you go to the view manager and access the all tab, you have your different combination states over here. You can select one and go to redefine. And here we have this visibility. So individual combination states you can decide whether they're going to control the display of annotations and supplemental geometry as well you'll notice when i click supplemental geometry the layers grayed out because layer states are no longer guiding this particular uh, combination state and similarly if i go to another one and then redefine i can say that this one is not controlling annotations or supplemental geometry so Again, you can control whether individual combination states are defining the visibility of those annotations and also the supplemental geometry for things like geometric tolerances. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and write a com comment and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.